one of the heroes of this game, Eric Berry. Let's start with your 42-yard pick six against your old junior high buddy, Cam Newton. What about that play? Oh, man, it was it was amazing. I just knew we were going to get an opportunity from somewhere. I didn't know where it was going to come at, but uh, I think Bob did a great job of calling the pressure in this situation. And just me knowing him, I know he misses high and he throws off his back foot, so I just sat and wait, waited and went through my progressions. And once I got the rock, I just wanted to make him miss and make him pay. So. Was there any doubt that you weren't going to score once you got? Because it seemed like no matter what happened, you were going. I wasn't going to be denied, man. I just wanted to help my team out, man. Just put put our team in a good situation. So um, I just wanted to go ahead and have instant offense and get in there and make it make it happen. So fans know the width of the field is 53 yards. You used all 53 <laughs> yards. Uh, did you talk to Cam afterwards? Because this was a whole Fulton County thing now. Yeah, man. Um, I, I didn't get to talk to him after the game, but um, – I think it's definitely a, a, a big moment for both of us just because of where we came from and thinking about the youth that come up in our community and just seeing both of us playing on a high level and a, on a big stage. Um, hopefully we inspired some kids back at home, you know, motivated them to just keep grinding and keep staying, you know, true to themselves and keep working, man. It, it, it'll crack for you soon. You just got to stay focused and stay, stay motivated. Eric, what does it say about you guys as a defense for going through the first half, making some mistakes, and things that you guys know that you can correct, but shutting them out in the second half, giving the offense, giving yourself a chance to win the game? Um, we just got grit, man. Like, it's, like I told everybody, everybody was talking about it was just a little bit of adversity, and um, like we said, it was going to take every player, every player, every play, and we had to eliminate the mistakes. We had too many mistakes in the first half. We didn't get off the field on third down enough, um, but we figured out a way to get it done, and sometimes you just got to do that. You know, I've been together for seven seasons now. Andy Reid said something on Monday that I thought, I want to ask you about. He said, this team expects to win. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about that because a lot of coaches say it. But what about the belief in this team? When you win a game like this, you were expecting to win. Mm -hmm. You got to expect to win. Like me and Ryan, like even after this game, we talk about the next game. We are done with this game. We're talking about going on to the next game. Last week when we won against the Jaguars, we were talking about this game on Sunday after the game. And um, that's what we talk about. We've been talking about this for a long time. And um, we said we were going to win on Sunday, last Sunday. So we practice that way. We practice like we're going to win. We watch film like we're going to win. And it just carries over on the Sunday. Fourth quarter comeback. We saw it in San Diego early in the season. Saw it again tonight. Just overall, just how special of a group is this right now? Very special. Um, we just believe in each other, man. And it's all about believing in the next man next to you. And it's all about being accountable and doing your job for the man next to you, not just for yourself, but it's all about doing it for the man next to you, shoulder to shoulder, back to back.